Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Albion. Uh, I'm outside the, uh, the tavern. Uh, let's see. Is it open yet? Uh, 3 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yeah, so I need to wait until uh, 6 p.m. You know what? Uh, instead, then let's go over here to the Miner's Guild rooms. I can't remember if I went in there. Uh, so I did uh, find one tiny room uh, that had some stuff in it uh, down in that uh, dungeon. Um, I don't actually remember what it had. It wasn't anything fantastic. Uh, I have sold a few things. Uh, so we're up to 2,558, uh, monies. I think Tom has, yeah, Tom has most of it. A few other people have, uh, a little bit as well. I should probably go just give this all to Tom, because you guys can't carry that much. I double-clicked on a game. There we go. Uh, so I sold a bunch of stuff, um, spare equipment, things like that, and we're pretty good now. I do have that Stone of Visions. Okay, I guess you're a little bit overloaded now. Uh, I need to dump some of this stuff off someplace. Alright, you're not going to use the Sun Dagger, so give that over to someone else. Stone of Visions. There we go. I need to, I need to find something to buy with all of this. Uh, I think I can go get that uh, other crystal throwing axe, so I might do that. Then I need to decide who should get that. Probably Melthus. Although I'll take a look at uh, who is best. <clears throat> Can't remember if I went in here or not. Hello. Schema Din, if you are visiting, I can arrange a room for the night. Uh, no, that's okay. But that is good to know. And it seems to be free, I don't know. I'm playing right now, do you want to join me? Uh, I, think I, I think we did see... this. Yeah, I think we have been in here. Uh, it's a new recording session for me, and I uh, took some time after... Uh, the end of the last episode to wander around that dungeon, try to get into more things, and I just really couldn't. Uh, alright, so let's just go, uh, wait here. Not 24 hours. Um, six hours should do. Alright, what do we got? Hello? Amine, Schema Din, would you like to play a little game? If you play well, you can have you can win a lot of gold, but you can also lose a lot if you have bad luck. Um, what's your profession? I'm a gambler. Uh, what do you know about uh, the game? It's a dice game. First, I throw three dice, and then you throw three dice. If you have reached or exceeded my point number, the stake belongs to you. Otherwise, it belongs to me. Isn't that fair? I guess. I'd have to think about it. Steak? I'll put up ten coins and you'll put up another ten. If you'd like to play, then tell me to roll the dice. Um... No, no, you said roll the dice and now I have the option to throw the dice? No! Oh god! This is gonna cause a temporal paradox. You didn't have any luck this time. I won, so the stakes belong to me. Thank you for playing. Alright. Uh, I imagine that having someone... I mean, if this is actually luck-based, uh, 30 out of 25... 5 out of 25... 20 out of 25... 55 out of 35! Okay, well, uh, he was the best person to, uh, to do that. Never mind. <laughs> 11 out of 33... And 10 out of 25. Okay, well, that's fine. It's not a big deal. We played a little bit of dice. Hello? Schema Din. Uh, more Pat. Schema Din, and welcome to the cheerful Ormine Inn. Uh, what's your profession? I dispense drinks and serve food. 
Uh, what do you know about, uh, drinks? Would you like something to eat or drink? Uh, yes, please. Oh, um... Tom had four extras, so let's just buy two. 36 coins. No. No. Uh, what do you know about, uh, Umajo Kenta? Most of us live, love living here because of the wonderful climate and, of course, the city itself. The desert may appear to be desolate, but it has its own charm. And I'm pretty sure that we've uh, read that from other people. Uh, what do you know about plants? That's the same as something that we've seen already. A water. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, mine. This is just what our inn is called, and there is also a real ore mine. Just visit the Miners Guild northwest of the city. Uh, miners. Yeah, a lot of this is uh, basically the same. Alright, uh, overnight stay. Unfortunately, you can't spend the night here, but go to the Miners Guild. They are very hospitable and gladly take in foreign visitors for the night. Right, everything else seems the same, so it's been nice talking to you. Farewell! I'm still looking for news on finding the Toronto. Connie. Schemadin, I am Connie. I've heard that a group of adventurers were in the city. I'm glad to meet you. I bet you have lots of great you've had lots of great adventures. Uh, you wouldn't believe it. Well, a couple, nothing special. You know, we're really not that keen on adventure. No, but we intend to. Ah, you wouldn't believe it. So then, tell me about your adventures. Uh, are you gonna buy me food? Round of booze. What's your profession? My parents are diamond polishers, and I help in the family business. I set the polished jewels and the beautiful chains and rings. Sometimes I can even polish the stones myself, but naturally I don't do it as well as my father. Uh, what do you know about uh, the diamond polishers? They process the jewels from the mines to make them valuable jewelry. Most of the items are exported. They also sell the jewelry here. Uh, what do you know about uh, price? It is really very expensive and experiences. Can you really tell me something? That would be great. Well, then make yourself comfortable, since this could take a while. And so Connie pays close attention to Dreer's stories, while the others sit quietly and listen. Her eyes begin to shine, and she's listening with all her heart. When the story about the religious druid leader is told, she gets really excited. After some time, Dreer believes he has told enough. You've really had some very exciting adventures. I would like to join you, but I'm embarrassed to say that I might not be courageous enough. Moreover, I'm needed here. In any case, I'm eager to find out how you... How you're going to continue and where you're going next. Uh, destinations? There's several different options for traveling from Umajo Kenta. First, there is the northern part of the desert. There is a prison there, but that is pretty far. Way up in the north. You have to be pretty strong and you must be prepared for the heat. And then naturally there is the southern part. But that isn't so easy to get to because you have to go through the boulder belt. Also, it seems something strange happened there a while ago. They say that the area is haunted now, but don't let that scare you away. Many people say a giant monster came down from the sky, but I've never seen anything like that. Uh, tell me about the northern part. <clears throat> Among other things, the prison is there. But as I already said, it is far away and the heat is a problem, especially for strangers who are not used to it. Uh, heat? We use... Pour an oil to prepare for it. If you're interested, speak with Agita. Uh, Agita? She lives in the south, right next to the harbor. Oops. Uh, tell me about this prison. They put bad people in there. There are some whom I would never have thought were bad, but nonetheless they're there. If you would like to wander up there, then go directly north. The prison lies right under the northernmost tip of the continent. There's also a guard who goes back and forth there every day in order to bring food and drink. You might see him. Alright, well tell me about the southern part. Uh, a strange monster coming down from the sky it could be relevant. I've never been in the southern part. It is difficult to get there since you have to go through the boulder belt south of our city. Well tell me about this boulder belt. We uh, might want to go through that. You can't get through the boulders. 
They are much too large and impassable. Also, you can easily get lost there. What do you want in the southern part? If you absolutely want to go there, I have heard of a possibility. There is a passage which goes under the boulder belt. The most difficult thing about it is to find the entrance. Unfortunately, I am not able to show you. But I do know someone who knows. Perhaps you could hire him as a guide. Uh, well, tell me about this guide. Hmm, if it, re if it is really important, I will tell you a little secret. But you have to promise me that you won't tell anyone else. I can be sure of it. I hope I can trust you. Well, the man is named Ol. Not many people in the city know him because he is very withdrawn and almost never lets himself be seen. Therefore, it is quite difficult to meet him. He is very shy and doesn't like long conversations. Nevertheless, he is nice and ready to help even strangers. I'm sure that he will help you if you tell him that I have sent you. He is a fanatic diamond collector, so I, he knows our family quite well. You could probably convince him to come for a couple of jewels. Ole is at the ore mine every day at precisely 12 o'clock so he can see if the miners have brought out any interesting pieces. But he is never there very long. You have to be punctual, otherwise you'll never s even see him. Ole will, will certainly show you the way. In any case, I wish you all the best for your continued journey. It's kind of a shame that you can't try to uh, get her in the party, but it has been nice talking to you. Farewell. We'll try to come back and share our uh, adventures with her later. But it sounds like this old person is uh, definitely someone to talk to. Uh, let's go talk to you first. The small girl looks at you terrified but doesn't say anything. Aww. We're not that scary. Hello. <laughs> as you see, uh, you've already, as I see, you've already been stung by some insects. Fortunately, most of them are harmless. There are a lot of gnats and insects flying around the desert. That's why the meat-eating plants do so well there. Just look at how they catch the insects. Okay. There's a, there's a ladle in there. Can I get in there? Everyone is getting tired. Well, too bad. I don't think we've talked to you yet. Oh, you see that I'm thirsty? Out of the way! Jeez, rude. Eh, that's a privy. There's nothing in there. No, I'm not seeing any, uh, anything on these tables that I might want to, uh, yoink. Hello! I don't think we talked to you. Have you talked to Connie yet? She generally comes here when she has time. She likes talking to people about their travels. When you meet her, just talk to her. Oh, uh, we have. We have. She was very nice. She was, uh, quite pleasant to talk to. Excuse me, sir. Hello! Uh, we've already talked to you, actually. It has been nice talking to you. Everyone is getting tired. They can sleep when they're dead. <laughs> but, this door is open. And now I can get my prize. A ladle. I will take that. See if there's anything else that we can get uh, around here. Nope, nothing there. Nah, I assume none of those other things open. All right, so uh, we need to go. Yes, I know, game. I know. We will go rest shortly. We need time to pass anyway, so... Uh, let's go to the uh, Miner's Guild. Uh, yes, we'll go ahead and get in room for the night. 5.4 coins? Sure, that seems reasonable. I think it's cheaper than the last inn that we stayed at. Um... How do you manage to get past the, uh, bed and I can't? But I'm thirsty. What, what were you doing in my room, anyway? 
Alright, so we need to... I assume... Go up to the actual mine part. And hang around for a bit. Alright, do I have a... Yes, I do have some gems. Good. Okay, you're not all... I have talked to you, Kofsia. Alright, well, we just have to wait until uh, noon. I suppose we could uh, run out and uh, wait an hour. That would probably uh, help pass the time. On the other hand, it took me almost an hour just to get to that front entrance. Time moves really fast in this game. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just wait. See if he uh, actually does walk in through here. I assume you are not all. Oh, hey. I, I kind of expected you to come in through the door, but apparently not. You actually wanted to see me? Uh, yes, can you help us? Connie sends us. She says you know the way through the boulder belt. Connie sent you? Oh, yes, I do know a way through the boulder belt. I can even lead you to the entrance. Uh, of course, I would like a small reward for it. A jewel would be appropriate. Remember that you probably cannot find the entrance alone. What do you say? Uh, alright, we'll gladly accept. That's great. I propose we meet at 6 o'clock in the evening in front of the city gate. I will wait outside the city for you. I will wait for an hour at most, so be punctual. And remember the jewel. Alright, uh, what's your profession? I used to be a diamond polisher, but now my hands shake so much that I can't do the work any longer. So instead I collect these beautiful jewels. Uh, what do you know about, uh, Connie? Uh, okay, that just goes back there. Alright. Alright. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you. Alright, so we've got a little bit of time. Uh, let's see if we can go buy some of the... Porn oil. Because I imagine that we will need that. I think it's here. Maybe not. No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, we could have an object investigated. Um, I don't think you have anything. How much is it going to cost, though? That's the, uh... Question. What did I pick up that I could actually... That I might actually want investigated? Uh, the Ring of the Goddess, I believe, is something that we picked up. Also, the Crystal Staff... and the Serpent Staff. Alright, so how much is this gonna run me? 1,680 coins. No. <laughs> I am not doing that. No. No way. Not a chance. Alright, 
I am not sure where we can buy the stuff then. Alright, let's see. I can sell this uh, ladle at least. 7.5 coins. Uh, let's see if there was anything else that I wanted to sell. I need to ditch all those keys. I think I'll have to run back to, um... Whatchamacallit, to really sell some of this stuff. Uh... Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else that I want to sell. Alright, what do you have for uh, sale? So we can get the Crystal's Throwing Axe. That would take most of our money. But I think that would probably be worthwhile. <clears throat> I do not have enough money for a Bolt Rifle, however. Um, so that is something to consider. Alright, let's see, your long range is 50 out of 40, but that's partly because of that. Your long range is 70 out of 70. Yeah, so you, Melthus is definitely better to uh, give the uh, axe to. Yep, let's go ahead and buy that. Go. Uh, you. I could sell this uh, helmet. I don't think I need that anymore. And you can equip the shield. There we go. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you. Okay. Alright, so... Are you the person that I need? Stop moving. No. That's way too far. I think she, she said near the harbor. That's over here. Well, I'm not seeing anyone. Alright, are there any uh, shops that I have missed? Been there. Oh, maybe it's that open door there. Gita, yes, there we go. Uh, what's your profession? I'm a housewife and have enough to do. Cooking, making beds, cleaning, washing, buying, and then preparing the daily food for the prisoners. Uh, what do you know about uh, prisoners? These people have been expelled from our society. All evildoers from the area are kept there. Most of them are fairly aggressive and have to be watched very carefully. The prison is to the north and a guard do goes there every day to relieve the shift and bring food and drink. My job is to cook for the prisoners. I thought you had the, uh, the oil stuff. Guard? Yes, if you want, you can meet him. He picks up the food and begins his trek through the desert around 12 o'clock. You can go with him if you want, but watch out for the stupendous heat. You need extra rations when you travel through the desert. Also, you must not stay there long, longer than eight hours since the extreme climate can be very damaging. Many people fall down with complete exhaustion, but it can harm you in other ways as well. Hmm, if you are still willing to risk the trip, then take a couple of bottles of porn oil with you. If you drink it regularly, it will prevent you prevent your getting sick. It increases the cooling of the body by day and reduces the heat loss at night. You can buy porn oil from Medgar, Merdger. 
However, you must speak with him directly about it since he developed it and is very proud of it. Murdger is an equipment maker and usually you will find him in his guild. Ah, oh, okay. Boron oil? Okay, so we have to go up there to find that. Well, let's go ahead and do so then. Not actually sure if I uh, visited the other people there, but... No, that's not the way that I want to go. It's up here. Got a little bit of a time crunch going, though. There we go. What do you know about, uh... No. Okay, enter word. Someone recommended my porn oil to you? Hmm, very well. I'll sell you a bottle for 15 coins. A little bottle is usually sufficient for up to six people to use. Uh, we'd like to have five for 75 coins. Thank you, it is guaranteed to help. Drink it every eight hours as you travel through the desert. Uh, let's get two doses. It's been nice talking to you. Thank you. I don't know that I actually got... Oh, okay, everyone got two. Alright. Alright, we're not overloaded. Where did his go? Uh, right, no, I got five times two. Alright, so... Alright, that should be fine. Alright, let's see if we can fi get to uh, what's-his-name before time runs out, and I'm not sure that we will. Oh wait, no, it's only four. My bad. He said 6 p.m. Alright, so I actually have a little bit more time. Uh, let's go back here and talk to uh, the that lady's family. I live here when I'm not hunting and... Oh, no, we have talked to you. Alright, so we have talked to the people here. My mistake. I don't remember talking to her. Maybe I just missed her, or maybe she wasn't there before. Alright, so let's see if he shows up out here. I mean, he'll stay around for an hour, so... Should be fine. Wait a couple more minutes. Okay, he must be outside, but uh, this is actually a good place to call it an episode. When we come back next time, we'll head outside, talk to Ol, and uh, give him a gem, and head to the southern part. Uh, I will eventually go up to the northern part, but not just yet. I, I think it's optional. I don't think it's required, but uh, uh, we'll explore it uh, in time. See you next time, everyone.